Hello, my name is Milo Sargent, and in this video I will be discussing the manufacturing technique known as 3D printing, and how it has and will continue to revolutionise the man-made world. 3D printing involves taking a three-dimensional object from a digital file. This CAD model is sliced into very thin horizontal cross-sectional layers, and material is laid down in succession. There are countless advantages to 3D printing, many revolving around a reduction of something. Firstly, a reduction in machine, material, and labour costs as parts are made in one step. A reduction in waste as every layer that gets printed is used, either in the final product or as a structural aid during the process. A reduction in travel costs as prototypes can be emailed to a client rather than mailed. Also, complex shapes can be created so we aren't limited to the physical properties of things like sheet material, which have certain structural limits. This, however, presents some disadvantages, like having a limited list of materials that can be used. These materials and the machines themselves are expensive. Also, a 2011 study conducted at the Wolfson School of Mechanical, Electrical and Manufacturing Engineering, Loughborough, found that 3D printing consumes approximately 50 to 100 times more energy than injection moulding. The emissions from molten plastic can also be harmful, but despite these flaws, the process is still used in a wide range of industries. The automotive, military, dental, medical and fashion industries all use 3D printing. As a 3D printer can practically print any shape, it is favoured in one-off production industries, like human tissue replacement for parts specific to the patient's body. NASA are currently working with scientists and engineers to see whether 3D printing food in space would be a viable option, as the current food storage systems are not enough to sustain astronauts on longer exploration projects. I am very excited to see what 3D printing can provide humanity in the future, and hope that continued research will allow all materials to be used so that the only limit is our imagination.